Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Colorado Tech Lions Dynasty. We are pretty decent right now. You know, we've seen our ups and downs, and it's pretty early in the season, but at least through the first few games, we'll get an idea of really what we need in the recruiting episode next episode. And as we look at our team, you know, we're pretty decent. We have some stars. Kentro Kraft is turning into a star on this team. I'm not really sure at quarterback who is really going to be our star. I'm not even sure if it's on the roster, but on the defense, it's definitely our defensive tackles. Okafor and Alec Robinson are definitely very, very good in the middle of that defense. And then also Jamarcus Lexington and... I think those three are probably the top three defensive guys we have. We have some guys making plays like Vincent Showcross, like Bernard Benjamin. I think these guys are going to be good, but I guess we need to kind of find a system that fits everybody. Now, Louisiana Tech comes into this game at 0-2, uh, and they are led by defensive back Kyler Jordan, who is a lockdown cornerback, so we got to watch out for him. And looking at Iowa after that win last week, they actually are in still in the top 25. They stay at that 25 spot. So we'll see if CTU can bounce back here in game number three as Iowa did not really put up a good offensive game versus CTU. But now I'm excited to see what we can do versus a lower opponent at Louisiana Tech. So here is the first carry of the game, a draw play to Nathan Carter there running back. He is really going to not get the ball that much because Louisiana Tech likes to spread the ball out a lot. And here they are on a third and six. Here's a quick throw, and that is small, and that is a first down. And I was very, very impressed by this CTU defense last episode. We really did a good job of staying with a very good Big Ten team. But you can just see right here Louisiana Tech getting a couple of first downs. Alec Robinson comes to this game as an impact player along with Sion Okafor. Here's a draw play, and there is in the backfield Mason Stonebreaker, number 91, off of the edge along with Bo Rocky. And now here we go, second and 11. Counter play to the left side, and that is Bernard Benjamin with the tackle. It's a gain of eight yards. Another third down on this opening drive for Louisiana Tech. We send the pressure. Hines throws to the left side, incomplete. So he forced the errant throw because of the blitz. He gets rid of it before he wanted to, and they will punt this one away. Jack Solemn kind of got benched last episode, but now he comes into the game still as the starter. And there is Adam Roth with the first carry of the game. Gain of six. I need to figure out this running game. I'm not really sure how to really approach it. So now we get it to a second and four. Solemn throws to an open Jackson. Jackson incomplete as that brings it to a third and four. B.J. Johnson into the game, running the read option, and he will not get to the sticks. Not even a yard on that one. Joe Fletcher on the stop. So three and out here for CTU, and here's Louisiana Tech with excellent field position after a good return. Hines at quarterback throw to the right side, Roberson. He gets pushed out of bounds at about the 20-yard line by Tyler Ashley, the junior, but a big time throw to start off this drive. You can see the fans in the stadium were not exactly full yet, but about half capacity. Here's a quick throw, that's Turner inside the five now. First and goal, tackled by Blake Starks who stops the touchdown. First and goal now, Hines, he throws this one away. Looks like pressure was getting to him up the middle, he didn't take off. They come out here with five wide. This is a quarterback power, and he gets stopped. Loss of one. Vincent Showcross making the stop. So now third and goal. Option to the left side, and there is Stonebreaker again. A loss of three. Two tackles for loss already to start this game, and we get them to settle for three points. Jack Solomon at quarterback running Mookie Richardson in motion. He rolls to the right side, looking for somebody to throw it to, but he will get tripped up from behind. It's a loss of three. Third and long now after that sack. Here is Jackson into the game. He throws across the middle, and that is caught. I meant Johnson, B.J. Johnson. He will find Mookie Richardson for a first down. That is a gain of 16 yards. 
So Jack Solom back into the game. Now play action fake throws to the right side. Adrian Shields has it. He plays in that slot along with Mookie Richardson. It's a gain of 13. Fresh set of downs now. Here's a handoff to Adam Roth. He gets stopped. As now Adrian Johnson checks into the game at running back. Third and seven. Solemn in the pocket. Nobody to throw it to. He goes down and also fumbles the football. It's a loss of 12. Our receivers were blanketed on that pass. And now Louisiana Tech camp comes back out onto the field. Running a little bit of counter. Here is a carry to Nathan Carter. Gain of nine. And now that brings it to about the 38-yard line, third and one. Here is Carter throwing a stiff arm. Lexington could not bring him down. It's a gain of eight yards and a fresh set of downs here for La Tech. Inside the 30 now was here is Hines. Handoff, another counter play. This is Carter again picking up another seven yards. Now, our run defense last week really played well, especially versus an Iowa team who historically has run the ball well. But here is a throw to the end zone. Darnell Corbett. It's a touchdown. It looked like number 23, Blake Starks, was in the area, but it may have just out, been out of his reach. He didn't go for the deflection, and now it's 10 0. Here we are, pinned back inside our 10. Here is Solemn taking off to the right side. He picks up. A gain of 10 after a penalty. Second and five handoff, Adrian Johnson. Maybe he will get the running game going. He leads us in yards and touchdowns so far with our running backs. Third and two, quick pass. This is Ken Trocraft. He went over 100 yards last game, and he looks like he's going to really get the ball here as he didn't get the ball to him in the first quarter. We're definitely going to get him the ball in the second. Here's a quick throw. Jackson, Jackson across the middle now. It's a gain of 13 for the first down, moving the sticks. Now Jackson Jackson is six foot five, six foot six with cleats on. I definitely want to give him the ball. Here's a throw to left side. That one is picked off. And there is Jordan. We highlighted him before the game, and he comes away with the turnover. Guarding Kendrell Kraft. Kraft had a step, but I think maybe we should have thrown it a bit sooner, right when he made that cut. But Jordan, just an excellent defender, makes the play on the ball. So after the turnover, La Tech starts with great field position. Here's a throw deep, and one-on-one, -on -one, it's going to be caught by Corbett again. It's a touchdown. What was Blake Starks doing on this pass? He had two men up the seam, but the ball was already in the air. What are you doing breaking towards the other receiver? And it costs us a touchdown, 17 to nothing. So now down by three scores already in the second quarter. I did not see this going this way. Here is Solemn with an incomplete pass to the right side. Third and 10. Nobody to throw it to. He just throws it to an open area. It's incomplete. And another punt here for CTU. La Tech has had the ball this entire first half. So here is Nathan Carter. Handoff up the middle. He throws a stiff arm tackle from behind by Joseph Crawford Jr., the sophomore. And now that brings it to a second and one. Hines throws to the right side. It's going to be a first down. Flag on the on the play. Jerome Henry on the tackle. And they are going to call roughing the passer. So they will get an extra 15 yards. See on Okafor being a little too aggressive. So now they're at the 25-yard line now. LaTeX is having no issues moving the ball. Here's a throw to the right side. And that one will be caught for a gain of five yards. This spread offense, this air raid is really killing us here in this game as here is Hines throwing to the right side. Incomplete. Wide open, man, he missed on that one. 20 to nothing here for La Tech, but can our offense get going? Here's a pass out to the right side. B.J. Johnson is going to start to get the ball more. He is our best route runner. He doesn't have the elite speed, but he is a very good tight end. Is here's a throw to the right side. There's Mike Marone, our starting tight end. He gets 18 on that one. Now, Mike Marone and Brian B.J. Johnson, we have two B.J. Johnsons on this team. He, They will definitely get the ball in this offense a lot more. We need something to move the ball as now we are officially across the 50. B.J. Johnson, the quarterback, into the game. He runs a little read option and picks up a gain of seven for the first down. Inside the 40-yard line now, third and seven. B.J. throws. Open man, Adrian Shields, and B.J. Johnson can't make that throw. 
He's four of eight to start this game. He remains in the game now for a fourth and seven. We're down by three scores. Got to go for it. Johnson moves. He throws, and it's caught. Adrian Shields at the 25-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. It's a first down. His second catch of the game. Two minutes to go now as here is Solemn back into the game. He throws to the sideline. Shields again. Maybe we found something with Shields. He's been running some excellent routes in this game. Three catches for him. We're inside the 10. Quick throw to Kentrell Kraft. Brought down by his face mask. Will they call it? Yes, they will. It will be another first down, automatic first down. We're inside the five now at about the one. B.J. Johnson checks into the game now. Handoff to Adrian Johnson. Touchdown from one yard out. Five foot eight. A lot different from the six foot two, six foot three Adam Roth. And he gets in for the first score of the day. So now here is Louisiana Tech throwing across the middle. That is caught. A diving defender could not deflect that pass. And that was number 17, Jerome Henry, going for the deflection. He could not get there. He is a rangy corner, but that time he couldn't get a hand on it. So here is Hines throwing this one away. Pressure. Looks like Sian Okafor was in there again. Third and 10 now. We're going to send another blitz. Here is Hines throwing to left side. He's got an open man. That's Roberson. It's going to be caught. But it looks like that was an RPO, and a legal man downfield was called on that one. They call it pass interference in this game, but it's a legal man downfield. We will accept that penalty. I want them to go back and hopefully force a long punt here. Third and 20. Hines in the pocket. Nobody to throw it to. He throws it at the last second. It's Turner all the way back inside the 30-yard line. So that's going to set us up with a great field position before the end of the half. So here is B.J. Johnson this time. Scrambling. He dives and puts it on the ground. It's picked up by LaTeX, and White will turn around and go the other way. He was going for extra yardage on that one, but it fumbled right when it the ball hit the defender's knee. And now LaTeX is back out onto the field. So here is Hines. Quick throw. Roberson, he has it at about the 40-yard line to gain a four. That was a third down pass, so we actually did stop them before half, but I decided not to go for it, really. 20 to seven here to end this first half. Second half action now. We are down by two scores, but we are still in this game. Here is Mookie Richardson. He takes it to the right side. He's got space and speed across the 50, throws a stiff arm and reaches the ball out to about the 36. Excellent start to this second half. And now here's our offense out on the field. Here is B.J. Johnson out at quarterback now, running a little read option to start it out. Great blocking on the left side, but he can't get free. Only picks up a gain of five. He may have had a lot of room on that play. B.J. remains in the, in the game now. Here's a quick throw, Mike Marone. Gain of 13 yards. It's a first down. If Mike Marone can show off those hands consistently, he's going to be good. First and 10 now. BJ throws across the middle. That's caught. Mookie Richardson getting involved. How about our two slot guys? Mookie Richardson and Adrian Shields getting involved early. That's a beautiful throw by BJ Johnson on that one. And now we're inside the five. First and goal now. Adrian Johnson. Handoff touchdown. He's in from two yards out. There we go. We're back within one score here. And now it is a 20 to 14 game as here is Hines back out onto the field. Running a little bit of option and there is a nice stop. Bernard Benjamin has turned into a really good tackler so far this year. A tackle for loss, four tackles on the day for him so far. Second and 12 handoff, Carter. He runs over a defender, that is number 35, Elijah Green, but we do clean it up there. Third and six, we need to stop here. Third and six, throw incomplete. There is the incompletion we needed. That one will be sailed over the head of the defender. And now here we go back on an offense. Kentrell Kraft getting going. He hasn't gotten the ball much today, but he gets that one. Five catches though, 36 yards. Here's a handoff, Adam Roth up the middle. He's showing off the power, spinning head, spinning ahead for a gain of seven yards. Adrian Johnson checks into the game now. Play action fake. BJ throws. He had options. Incomplete on that one. 
And that's going to bring a second and ten. Running craft in motion. We're going to give it to him. He tries to get to the outside. Loss of seven. Big time tackle by C.J. Rogers way behind the line. Now it's going to bring it to a long third and 17. The pressure. Sack. B.J. Johnson loses nine yards. Jonathan Simmons gets in there for the second time today. Unblocked at that. They had two unblocked guys coming through. So here is Louisiana Tech now. Up by a touchdown, running a man in motion. Let's see what they do. Handoff, Carter to the right side. Running over a defender, picking up a block. He's on the other side of the field. He gets to about the 30-plus yard line inside the 30. They're inside the red zone. He's over 100 yards on that carry as well. So here is Hines throwing to the right side. Drew Hill has it only a gain of one. 39 now. Hines throws to the end zone. Marcus Ryan, the tight end. It's a touchdown. He found the zone in the corner of the end zone, just wide open right there. That, that throw had to be online. Throwing to the back shoulder. It's 27 to 14. So here we go back onto the field. Here is Kentrell Kraft getting going to start the next drive. It's a gain of 12 yards. Six catches in the game for Kraft today. Johnson in the pocket. Pressure just gets rid of it. 10 of 16 for B.J. Johnson. Jack Solomon is also throwing the ball well, but B.J. remains into the game. Third and eight. Here's a throw to the right side. It's Kentrell Kraft. He spins and puts the ball on the ground, but I'm pretty sure his knee was down on this one. Yeah, looks like that right knee is down, so he will retain possession. Great spin move by Kentrell, by the way. So now we have it out at about the 27. Johnson using his legs, getting out of the pocket. He will take off. He's got a first and more. Gain of 18 yards. Just about to the 10-yard line. That's the difference between BJ and Solemn. I like, I like Solemn for his accuracy, but BJ definitely has more upside. Here's a quick throw. Mookie can't hold on. That one probably would have got us to the two-yard line as that brings us to a third and seven. Big play here. Johnson steps up. He throws. Cantrell cannot hold on. Fourth and seven. We probably should do the smart thing here and kick the field goal. And now here we go, down by 10. Louisiana Tech now throwing on the next drive, and that is caught by Ryan. He already scored once earlier. It's a gain of 24. They're already at the 50-yard line. Let's see if they run the ball. They've been doing that successfully today. Here's a throw to the left side. That is caught by Turner. A back shoulder throw to Dwight Turner. It looks like Bernard Benjamin just didn't get turned around on that one. And now they're already across the 50 at the 30. Here is Hines running a little bit of read option. They haven't run that all day. It's a gain of seven. That one threw us off for sure. And now we get into the last play of the third quarter. Hines, another read option. He takes to the right side. They've waited three quarters to start running this read. The zone read does work a lot versus us because we do over pursue to try to make the tackle. But now we're into the fourth quarter and Louisiana Tech is threatening to score. Here's a quick throw. Turner again. Touchdown. That's four touchdown passes on the day from Chris Hines. And he gets in 34 to 17. And now we have a lot of catching up to do. One quarter to do this as well. Down 17. Johnson moves to the right side. He lobs across the middle. That's caught by Kentrell. Picks up a block as well. Gain of 43 yards. And that one should put him at 100 yards on the day. So now here we go. Hurry up offense a little bit. Here's a quick screen to the right side. Here's Kentrell trying to wait for his blocks and does only pick up a gain of four. Is now here we go, third and six. Here's a quick run, and they had that sniffed out. We tried to throw them off right there with the run on a third and six. It's not going to work. Fourth and ten. BJ remains into the game. Here he is in the pocket. He throws across the middle. It's picked off. That wasn't intended for Brian BJ Johnson. That was actually going across the middle to Kentrell Kraft, but instead it's an overthrow. And now Louisiana Tech takes over. So down by 17 on defense. Here is Carter, a draw play. He hits the hole with very, very uh, aggressive nature. And then that one 
results in a gain of 17 for the first down. Five and a half to go. Here's a quick throw. Carter out of the backfield this time. First down. He is killing us today. Two for 33 through the air and then also running the ball extremely well. He's over 100 yards rushing. So here's Hines throwing to the sideline. There's a nice play by the defense. Bringing it to a third and eight, third and 10. Here's a throw to the sideline again. It's Ryan all alone. Five touchdown passes for Chris Hines. And he has just put on a display today on the road as well. What a gutsy performance by Louisiana Tech's offense. They came into this game 0-2. They're probably going to get their first win today. Five minutes to go. Here's a throw to the right side. Kentrell Kraft with a move down the right sideline. We definitely need to get the ball to Kentrell Kraft some more. I mean, this guy is crafty with the ball. No pun intended, but he is a very elusive receiver any way possible. Here's Adrian Johnson handoff, a guy that I want to get the ball as well. Need to figure a way to get in the ball. Maybe we're going to add some plays to the playbook, some fake jet sweeps, some halfback swings, things like that. Definitely going to need to go back to the drawing board after this game. 41-17 to is a very big margin of victory, especially versus Iowa when we were very close with them, and then now Louisiana Tech, we're getting absolutely throttled. Especially on defense, I think we're going to have to send some pressures more. Here is a handoff, and Adrian Johnson just loses two. He's at least breaking tackles, so that's a good sign. Third and long, BJ rolling to the right side. He's got options. He will throw, whoa, way off. 14 of 28, two interceptions for, for BJ Johnson. And now this one could be the game. Fourth and 12, Johnson. Gets hit on the throw. It's going to be incomplete. That's going to do it here at home. We dropped to one and two, but at least we have kind of a good sample size of games to know what our issues are. I would say right now, it, offensive line is definitely a huge issue. We allow too many pressures way too quickly. We can't even run play actions because the pressure is getting in there right away. Jack Solomon actually had a good game. But I thought in this game, the upside that B.J. Johnson brought to the table was a lot greater than Solom's. Even though Solom was making good throws, I thought that we could run some options. We could run the ball with the quarterback. Definitely switched off, but at, at about the halfway point, we kind of just stuck with B.J. Johnson, even though he threw two, two interceptions. Kentrell Kraft had an excellent game, 10 for 147, but who's going to be behind him? Who's going to be that guy? Adrian Shields had a good game. Uh, I would say our tight ends are going to have a pretty big role in the offense, especially going into conference play in a couple of episodes. We face our last non-conference game versus Auburn next week, so that's going to be interesting to see another top 25 team, and especially an SEC school we'll face, but no sacks. Pass rush is definitely something we want to improve, and that comes with just schemes as well, not just the players. We have to send different blitzes and things like that. Louisiana Tech... Chris Hines threw for five touchdowns. They get their first victory here on the road. Nathan Carter ran for 140. He also had 40 yards receiving as well. And they just spread the ball out. I mean, they just absolutely killed us through the air. Our secondary did not have a good day. So how about we check up on our rivals, Oakland College. We will start to cover them more. And throughout this series, we will cover a lot of our conference teams, especially Oakland, though. And now we start to get into the nitty gritty of this series. We have a good sample size of how our players are playing. You can see Oakland, they are playing very, very well. Their two losses come versus two ranked teams, but then they lost, they won last week versus Oregon, I believe. And then looking at their team here, you can see if you see any of your players, shout out in the comment section below, but they are doing very well. They are losing close games and they are very good. So we play them at the end of the season. So we have a lot of time to prep for that game, but we're taking it game by game, obviously, and seeing how we will do. But they are one and two on the season, so we have the same record, so I guess we're doing all right. So going into next episode will be the recruiting special where we go over a lot of the recruiting rules, go over our recruits, go over how we will recruit in this uh, season, in this uh, series, I should say, and then just talk about you know, high schools covering them. This is going to be a lot different than what I usually do. 
So this is going to be a whole lot of fun. I can't wait to show you guys. You guys. I mean, honestly, you guys are in the series. So I can't wait to show you guys how you guys look at the high school level as well. So hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Let me know down in the comment section what you think below. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Boy, all that like Kenny. Still got crack, they feeling. Flow still hot like Phoenix. Shine so bright, I'm gleaming. This off top, I'm tweaking. Fresh out the rat like me. And I'm still trying to fight my demons. Cause we all gotta act like Tino. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going.